Hey everyone, um, welcome to part three of, uh, I, I'm calling it baking in sweatpants, because that's what I'm doing. I don't get dressed every day anymore. Um, you're lucky I'm wearing sweatpants. Uh, we're gonna make uh, this dessert that I call Bet Noir. Right? It is it's classic French dessert. Um, I make it a little different. Typically you, you boil a sugar syrup um, and then add chocolate, butter, eggs, sugar, etc. cetera. Um, and it's a flour with chocolate cake. It's really rich, it's really decadent. Um, and there's a couple um, key techniques to it that make it really great. Um, I've kind of altered it over the years. I've been doing it for like 20 years. Um, and it, it's really easy this way and it's really great. Um, and you'll be able to pull it off, I swear. All right. All right, all right, so Bet Noir um, literally means uh, black beast. Um, it's chocolate, it's heavy duty, um, but it's not lost on me that we're in a time where it's not easy to have a lot of ingredients in your home or to go out all the time shop for it. So I totally get it if you don't have a pound of chocolate or a pound of butter or nine eggs. Um, the next time you go shopping, if you can pick up all those things, great. Uh, if not, again, just save this video for uh, after all this is over. Um, it makes a great Easter dessert, especially a Passover dessert. Um, and any time of year for that matter, but it's, um, you can even make individuals. So first things first, we got to prepare the pan because this is flourless um, and kind of like a custard. Um, we need to prepare the pan in a way that uh, it's gonna come right out. We're gonna bake this in a water bath, um, but we're also gonna coat the baking pan. So we're gonna make um, a nine inch pan, um, but I'm, I'm also gonna bake a, a small ramekin of it. Um, so you could do, uh, this will make about eight of these ramekins, or you could do muffin cups, um, or just one nine inch pan, or a couple smaller six inch pans, or something like that. Um, but what you need to do, uh, I'm gonna put the phone down real quick um, so you can see me do this, but you need to coat the pan with sugar. So you're just gonna put in a little bit of sugar with the pan like this, right? And then just tap it around. I've already spread butter in the pan all the way around, just, to, just with my fingertips, some softened butter in there. You can brush melted butter, or you can actually even just use pan spray, that's fine. Um, as long as it's not some kind of flavored pan spray or olive oil pan spray. Um, so I'm gonna put some in this ramekin too. And then over your trash or over your sugar container, you wanna tap out all the excess because you don't want like a, a crust of sugar in there. Over your sink. Um, but you want to make sure you have a pan uh, deep enough to put this in that you can do the water bath. Um, I like a cookie sheet with a rim is fine. Uh, but anyways, on to the next thing. So we've got nine eggs here. Uh, we've got a saucepan with one pound of butter, uh, one cup um, of, sh of sugar, which is like nine ounces. Uh, I also put in some, uh, some coffee liqueur, or you can do like vanilla extract or nothing at all. Uh, and then I've got a half cup of heavy cream. And if you don't have heavy, have heavy cream, you can do half and half or light cream. Um, milk is a little thin, but it'll still work. Um, hi Sadie, Gremlin. So I'm gonna put this on the stove. We're basically gonna bring this to a boil uh, and simmer until everything is melted and everything is kind of even. Um, we're, making, we're making the sugar syrup, but with the butter.
I also have uh, a pound of chocolate here. I'm gonna melt that in the microwave because we're going to pour the sugar syrup into the eggs and then into the butter, uh, into the chocolate. All right, so um, butter, sugar, coffee liqueur, heavy cream, bringing it up to a boil um, carefully. All my other pots are dirty right now, so I have a really small saucepan. Probably not the best thing, um, but it's coming up to a simmer. I still have all this butter that needs to melt, um, but I'm basically just making a sugar syrup. So let's watch that boil. Okay, I've got my eggs here in a bowl whisked. Um, a real good trick uh, to keep your bowl stable while you're pouring with two hands, if you can't hold the bowl with the other hand, is twist the towel up and put it underneath to keep it stable. Uh, and then your bowl won't uh, rock or spin, etc. So sugar syrup. Whisk it into your eggs slowly because you want to temper them. If you pour it in all at once, you're just going to cook the eggs and make scrambled eggs. So slowly, while whisking, you can see my bowl is really stable because it has a towel under it. All right, so keep going slow. Eventually, your, your eggs get hot enough, uh, but stay liquid, and you can just add the rest in. Are you counting the seconds in the video? <laughs> All right, so sugar syrup is in the eggs, uh, and I've also got my melted chocolate, um, and we are pretty much there. So chocolate into the egg mixture. And I gotta be honest, it's been so long since I've made this recipe that I don't exactly remember how much it makes. This may make two nine inch pans. Um, but the thing is, you can save all of this batter uh, in the refrigerator for a week or in your freezer for quite a while and use it when you want to use it. All right, so. So you can see here, it's a little kind of not mixed in on the edges. It's gonna get thicker as I whisk. Tighten the towel a little bit. Thanks, Sadie. helpful thank you all right so into it's all mixed right looks like chocolate pudding into my bowl uh, sorry a pan and we're gonna go like halfway three quarters of the way up yeah so this makes like a I think it's a 10 inch pan actually I keep saying nine and then a little in my ramekin oh perfect all right, I'm gonna put the phone down and scrape the rest out and then show you how to put it in the oven. Is this from the sink? I have uh, my full pan and mold with the batter. Really smooth, really simple. Um, so I'm gonna add the water to this once it's in the oven. Ramekin is done, just like Jello, right? That's what you're looking for. On the edges, it's kind of souffléed a little bit. See all these little bubbles? That's fine. 
And then on the big one, still a lot of jiggle. We need a lot more time on this one. So I'm gonna set the timer for uh, maybe about 30 minutes. You can see here, cake is done. Admittedly, it's probably like a little overdone, but you won't even notice actually. Uh, if it was really overdone in a bad way, it would have split on top, but see it all kind of jiggles as one and it's kind of loose from the edges. That's perfect. Um, we will let this cool, totally, completely cool, and then unmold it, which is a little tricky, but not too, not too difficult. Uh, Bet Noir is done. It's been cooling for 30 minutes. An hour would be great. This has been cooling for a couple hours now, so that's good. Um, while it's still warm, you don't want this to be cold. Um, but while this is still warm, you can unmold it. You can see it's kind of sliding around. When we turn this out, this is going to have a little bit of that, that butter sugar mixture that we use to line the pan. It's going to seep out a little bit onto the plate, but we can wipe that up after. Um, so first thing, we'll, we'll unmold this. And the trick is to kind of knock it against your hand lightly just to kind of loosen it and then flip it over like you're getting a can of cranberry sauce out and this might there we go there we go right it's a little shake a little jiggle do it gently and, and slowly and get it out um, and then for the big one put your plate over Hold it really tight and flip. And same thing, do a little jiggle. And boom. So all this right here, this is sort of like the butter sugar mixture that was coating the pan is gonna be kind of greasy on it for a little bit. Um, so you can blot that up uh, with a paper towel um, or just leave it as is. When you do refrigerate it, you're gonna have that kind of sheen on there. But you can glaze this with ganache from here or just cut it into wedges and eat it. It's best at room temperature uh, and definitely not cold. And you can even microwave it for a little bit. So look how soft that is. Almost like a pudding cake. It's like perfect. And a little bit in the middle, like a molten cake, right? So good. Want some? Final step is just making the ganache, which is just as simple as take the chocolate, you melt it um, a little bit of the way in the microwave. Um, you scald some cream and then pour it over the chocolate and whisk it to combine until it's smooth. Uh, and then we'll just pour it over the cake. So that was fun. I, like I said, had it in a really small pot. I wasn't paying attention. It boiled over onto an electric burner and made a mess. Don't let that happen. Use a bigger pot.